sex trafficking, human trafficking is a major problem in Fulton County as, as well as the city of Atlanta. And I am consistent with my stance in the past in terms of making sure that whenever there is any sort of issue surrounding sex trafficking or sexual improprieties around children, youth, underage people, uh, I've spoken in the past and I'm speaking today. And so I'm going to strongly encourage, again, the district attorney to investigate on uh, this matter and leave no stone un unturned. And I believe that the citizens of Fulton County deserve this investigation, and I am fully supportive of it. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here, and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. Jim, can you tell us anything about this trial? What type of criminal activity has allegedly been uncovered? So I have not been privy to this file, and nor do I really have a desire to know the contents of the file. But I am indicating that and verifying that the file has been transferred from law enforcement and Johns Creek to the district attorney. And I'm going to use my power as chairman to encourage the district attorney to proceed and to launch an investigation so that no questions are left unanswered. Was he indicated one way or another if he's going to launch an investigation? He did acknowledge that he received the file from a law enforcement. And again, I'm going to encourage him to investigate. I believe that the citizens of this county deserve it, and especially the, the, the mothers, the parents of the children who have been exploited to serve it as well. Can you do anything else to force them to cancel the concert? Well, the request has been made. Um, a formal request has been made. There's a contractual relationship. I certainly don't want to breach that contractual relationship, but I will say that there is growing community pressure. As of last week, there were 36,000 people who had completed online uh, petition uh, expressing their desire that this concert be canceled. And I do envision that that number will grow um, as we get closer to the concert. And it's up to Live Nation uh, to make the decision of whether to cancel. Have you spoken to Live Nation since you said I have not spoken to Live Nation, but I will uh, let folks know that I do plan to contact them either today or Friday, I'm, I'm sorry, Monday of next week. I do believe that the investigation that I'm calling for the district attorney to uh, to launch uh, will be some additional information that I will share with Live Nation in terms of the gravity of this issue. Exactly. I think it's fair. I think that it's, 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 it's important for people to know that I am not um, trying to manipulate what's in the file, what's there, but the natural progression to the point that there is some evidence that law enforcement has that may be of a felony nature is important to go to the district attorney so there's a natural progression but it is not my role as chairman of Fulton County to know the contents of that investigation. John, I gotta ask you a, yes. a hard question. Sure. Why insert yourself into this at all? It seems to be a matter between John Street Police, Mark Kelly, and the district attorney's office. Well I'm the chairman of Fulton County and I represent a million people as well as the people in John Street. I didn't ask for people to contact me and say cancel the concert. A lot of folks unsolicited in an unsolicited way contacted me and requested me. And so I feel that I'm speaking very fairly and very honestly on behalf of people who contacted me and asked me to step up and, and, and to express my uh, my words which I'm representing on behalf of people. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here, and uh, we will provide more updates to you uh, as we receive them, potentially as early as next month. So thank you for being here. You said next Monday? Yes, I'm like, yes. Thank you. So I'm Mitchell Northam. I'm with the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, and that wraps up the press conference here. Um, that was Fulton County Chairman uh, John Eve speaking. Um, he is encouraging the district attorney um, to go forward with a criminal investigation into R. Kelly. Um, this stems from some allegations made in a BuzzFeed story reported last July. If you want to check out more about that story, you can do so by visiting AJC.com. We reported on it. Um, there was uh, basically allegations that he was holding women against their will um, in a cult-like atmosphere in Johns Creek. Um, <clears throat> he, had, he had a house that he rented in Johns Creek and also a house that he owned. Um, used to also own a house in DeKalb County as well. Um, and this long BuzzFeed story um, says a lot here. It looks like there's um, maybe an activist or a protester that's about to speak now. She's wearing a uh, hashtag mute R. Kelly shirt. So I'm going to turn
and your, your organization? Uh, we represent, I represent Mute R. Kelly. It's a collective of women in Atlanta who band together to start a national campaign against Live Nation to cancel the R. Kelly tour. We started with Atlanta, and the campaign has resulted in three of the five cities being canceled. What are you, your reaction to what you've heard? I, um, I was actually on my way to Netroots for a presentation on sex trafficking at the Netroots con conference, and I got a call. You got to get down there because they have they have some charges they're going to place against him. And for me, it is this is the natural progression of things. We knew for years that Mr. Kelly's behavior was egregious enough to reach the level of criminal prosecution, and we hope that this time it sticks. No, he hasn't been charged with anything. All they've done is turn the investigation. Absolutely, we understand that, but. The ball rolls for us. We are excited because the trajectory is moving in our direction. Why is this so important to you? For several reasons. One, um, as a community activist, uh, sex trafficking is something that I have been working on for years. Um, I also work as a registered lobbyist in the General Assembly and was helpful in passing the Mars, not the Mars, it's all the, um, the, uh, the, the Safe Harbor Sex Trafficking Legislation in 2015 session. And, you know, full disclosure, this is personal for me because I am a survivor of health. So for me, I understand what that feels like. I understand that space of being manipulated. And I just feel like that we need to start speaking up against this because this is real. And it's happening all over the country. What are your plans um, if the concert doesn't get canceled here? If the concert does not get canceled, um, we have actually begun to create a coalition of partners, including Women's March and some of them. Um, more national social justice groups, we are planning a protest. We are planning a peaceful protest the day of the concert at the Wolf Creek Amphitheater. So yes, we will exercise our First Amendment right and we will protest. We are expecting a crowd of about 1,000. 1,000 people. Absolutely. So right now, our, our, our uh, petition is trending at 37,000, the last time I checked. We've actually partnered, we were, we were requested to partner with the Drop Sony campaign. We are now under the umbrella of R. Kelly, so we are now trying to drop the Sony, cancel the Atlanta concert, and cancel the tour. So we have begun talking to activists in Memphis, in Detroit, in Birmingham to say, you know what, let's just end this one too. So the 36,000? Yes. It's not specifically for Atlanta, it's talking about the whole This tour. is the country. This is the country at this point, yes. Uh, the Atlanta specific petition, we got about 1,700 in Atlanta specifically. And you said you rushed down there for this, but there was really no news that was coming out.
like she's in a space where she's a young woman, she's confused, she's scared, she has media attention she did not want, very personal details of what's happening to her are now being you know, shared across the country, and she just wants it to stop. And so I do believe that, yes, she was it, it, it just did not come across to me as often. your name again, ma'am? Kenyette Tisha Barnes. Kenyette Tisha Barnes. Yes. Okay, y'all. Um, again, this is Mitchell Northam with the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, and we're out here at a press conference. Um, Fulton County Chairman John Eve spoke first, um, basically saying that um, he was going to encourage the Fulton County DA um, to um, press charges, criminal charges, against R. Kelly, um, who, uh, as it was uh, revealed in a um, July BuzzFeed story, um, some allegations about him holding women hostage um, in a cult-like atmosphere in Johns Creek. Um, so he spoke first, but really didn't get any details to what um, this criminal file that Johns Creek police have on R. Kelly, um, but that just that it has been turned over to um, the Fulton County District Attorney's Office. Um, but again, he didn't really give any details about it, so we don't know what the criminal charges are at this time. Um, and then you just heard from um, Kenyette uh, Tisha Barnes, who um, is with a campaign called Hashtag Mute R. Kelly. Um, she has been a part of um, this petition um, of over a thousand women in Atlanta um, who are trying to get his upcoming concert at Wolf Creek Lodge uh, canceled. Um, I believe that concert is uh, August 25th. Um, and it hasn't been canceled yet. Um, Fulton County owns the facility, but it is ran and managed by Live Nation. So Live Nation would have to make that call whether or not it is canceled. Um, and Fulton County has sent a letter kind of requesting that uh, the concert be canceled, um, but they haven't heard a response yet from Live Nation. Um, and Ms. Barnes says that she's going to try and start a conversation with Live Nation. R. Kelly has had some of his um, concerts canceled recently in light of the BuzzFeed story and some additional reporting. Um, I think, I believe, three concerts have been canceled so far, but he's also went on to a couple different shows as well. I believe he had a concert in Baltimore and Virginia Beach um, and, uh, you know, has this one upcoming in Atlanta. Um, so uh, if you want to read more about R. Kelly, we have you know a couple of stories about uh, you know this incident in particular on our website. You can go to um, AJC.com and check those out. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Primetime Mitch. Um, and again, my name is Mitchell Northam, and I'm a reporter with the Atlanta Journal Constitution. And we'll have a story about this and um, you know some things following up to it. Uh, we're going to try and speak with John Street Police to see you know what this uh, criminal criminal file has and. Um, We'll, we'll be following along to see, uh, you know, if the district attorney does go ahead and press criminal charges against R. Kelly. Um, so right now, I mean, we're just kind of in a wait and see mode. Um, 
uh, Chairman Eve said that more details would be available from him on Monday. I'm um, not really sure why he's waiting that long, but he is no longer here. Um, so uh, that's that's what's going on. Um, and again, we're we're, uh, we're in Atlanta right now. Uh, some of the media just kind of packing up, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pack up as well and head back and write this thing up. So um, thanks for following along. And again, um, yeah, you can like North Fulton County News now um, on Facebook. You can follow me on Twitter. It's at Prime Time Mitch. Um, and go to our website, uh, www.ajc.com.